And first, this morning, we have breaking news of yet another devastating blow to free speech. Just 24 hours after Twitter permanently suspended President Donald Trump, Google, Apple, and Amazon have now all banned Parler from their app stores, which experts say could destroy the company financially. John, it's good to have you this morning. Thanks very much for being here. What is your reaction and the impact to this squashing of Parler? Uh, well, thank you for having me on. Um, well, it's, it's devastating is what it is, and it's, it's an assault on everybody. I mean, they, they all worked together to make sure at the same time we would lose access to not only our apps, but they're actually shutting all of our servers off tonight, off the Internet. So they, they, they made an attempt to not only kill the apps, but to actually destroy the entire company. And it's not just these three companies. Every vendor from um, from text message services to email providers to our lawyers all ditched us too on the same day and and they're and they're trying this to uh, falsely claim that we were somehow responsible for the events that occurred on the sixth this is absolutely extraordinary that you see this coordinated effort on the same day that the president is banned on Twitter you've got uh, Google and and Instagram removing Parler, and now last night late, Apple removes Parler as well. What are you going to do? John, can this put you out of business? Oh, I mean, it would put anybody out of business. I mean, this, this they could destroy anybody. If they did this to any app, any company, it would completely destroy them. And we're going to try our best, you know, to get back online as quickly as possible, but we're having a lot of trouble because every vendor we talk to, you know, says they won't work with us because if the Apple doesn't approve and Google doesn't approve, you know, they won't. And uh, they've given us no legitimate remedy. Uh, they've tried to, you know, ask us for, you know, to cooperate with them on a few things. We've tried to give them everything uh, that they wanted, you know, of course, without sacrificing our principles. But there were remedies to do it, and, and they just don't care. They, they just don't want us on the Internet. They just want to get rid of us.